Welcome Earthlings, my name is Planet Mitch and I'm from Planet5D.com where we cover all sorts of things from photography to video to DSLR cameras and exciting new things like this new iPro lens system from iProLens.com It's a handy little device where you can use three different lenses in this kit that also acts as a handle so it all works together rather seamlessly with your iPhone I have the iPhone 5 model, which is what you are watching me on right now. Inside the kit is the handle and a nice little styrofoam thingy. The handle itself acts as a lens case as well as a handle. There is usually a little knob right here on the end, but that's currently on the iPhone holding it to my tripod. And this is the 2X telephoto lens that comes in the kit. And I will show you that it simply unscrews, and inside you have a lens. There's a little bayonet mount that holds each lens in, and so there are three sections to this because there are three lenses. This one is the macro lens. This one, as I showed you before, is the telephoto 2X lens. And then there's also a macro lens for getting up close and personal. I'm going to show you right now what it looks like with the 2X lens. Now you see that I've got the 2X lens on, and uh, it's cropped in quite a bit, so you can sort of just barely see maybe even the top and the bottom of my head. But I'm sta standing in the same position that I was standing before. This has also, by the way, been recorded on my Canon 5D Mark III, which is sitting about six inches away from the iPhone. I'm using the 5D Mark III to record the audio for this. Uh, because I wasn't quite sure what kind of audio I'd be getting off of the iPhone. So we're using a Rode VideoMic Pro attached to the Canon 5D Mark III, and we're going to sync it all up in post with Final Cut Pro 10, which, oh, by the way, had a big new announcement today. They've got a new release, 10.1, just came out today. So if you want to see more about that, click on blog.planet5d.com slash fcpx, and you'll find out more about the Final Cut Pro 10, which is way off the topic. But that's also what I'm using to edit this. Uh, I could use iMovie on the iPhone, but I'll probably use Final Cut 10 because I want to mix and match the video from my Canon 5D Mark III with the iPhone. And as a bonus, I'm going to throw in video from the GoPro so you can see the wide-angle lens as compared to the GoPro. Let's do that now. This is the super wide angle lens on the iPhone 5 as well as the GoPro 2. I only have a GoPro 2, I've never gotten a GoPro 3. But this is the super wide angle and you can see that it goes fairly wide. So it's fairly close to the GoPro and you're using your iPhone. Granted, you're not going to get the underwater protection that you might get from the GoPro, but that's a whole other story, right? And this is the Canon 5D Mark III set at 24 millimeters so you can see how wide that is. It's about the same as the iPhone, isn't it? But that's the 24-105 on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is what it looks like when you get really, really close and you see how wide it goes and whether or not your face distorts and you get a really big nose. What do you think? There you go. That's a very quick look at the brand new iPro lens trio they call it the trio for the iphone 5. while i'm doing a bit of summary i'm going to show you some snaps that i've taken outside both video and photo as well as a christmas tree uh, which is a good use of the macro by the way if you happen to have a glorious christmas tree like we do this year and you want to have an out of focus blurry shot then just slap the macro on your iphone 5 and you'll see this Kind of image. It's pretty cool. The iPro lens kit is really nice. I really appreciate the fact that it all goes together and you can use it as a handle as well as a bunch of lenses so you always have them ready. The case for the iPhone 5 is really fairly nice and the two attachment locations don't really get in the way for the tripod or the handle mount. The one thing that I really dislike and that's about true for any camera really, or any lens, is the fact that the lens cap, which this comes with a lens cap, see? The lens cap doesn't attach to any of the current pieces 
when you put it on a lens, which is really good to do while you're not shooting with the iPhone 5 and you still have the lens attached, then that's good, but once you take it off, you've got no place to store it. With a traditional lens, you can put the cap on the lens and put it away in your bag, but with this particular device, it's just a little bit too wide and it won't fit inside the handy little handle case. So when you've got all three lenses in here, you've got no place to put the lens cap. And I don't know if they could have done that differently, but that's the one thing that you're going to lose, most likely, because I know I will, is this lens cap. I've had to keep hold of it because I wanted to be able to do the video and show you the lens cap, but after this, it's probably going to disappear somewhere. That's a wrap on our first look at the iPhone 5 iProLens.com kit, which has got optics from Snyder Optics, which are very good optics, as you've seen throughout the video. This looks pretty good. If you want to subscribe to Planet 5D, uh, you can watch us on YouTube, of course, by doing the subscribe there. But if you want our daily email for VIPs like you and get four, count them, four free ebooks about DSLR usage, Sign up at plan5d.com slash subscribe and we'll get you every day in your inbox. Thanks for watching plan5d.com. This is Planet Mitch over and out.